everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a 30 minute session for a client, I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. The goals are activating crystals in the home, doing a home cleansing. I'm gonna read the goals in just a moment here. I wanna thank you so much to the client. Thank you so much for the opportunity to support you today. Thank you for sharing with us here on YouTube. I know many of us probably have crystals in the home, would love to be able to activate our crystals and do home cleansing. So this is gonna be informative, interesting, and empowering. So I wanna thank you so much for this. Thank you for sharing with us here. I'm gonna read your goals and then I'm gonna get started. So you say, hi Abby, I would like to activate all the crystals in my home and do a deep energy cleansing for my home space. Okay. Just to offer some advice before I get started. So you could individually, energetically connect with each individual crystal, but each individual crystal can be combined or connected and we can activate them all as one. So we can totally accomplish this today. I'm curious to see what your home energy is going to look like and how we're going to incorporate crystal activation with that, how we're going to navigate it all. So I'm just going to relax now, close my eyes and just put it out to the universe <laughs> and then we'll see where it all begins. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Wow. Already I'm stepping into the structure of a home space. And in the energy world, the structure of a home space is it could be walls, rooms, it could be a mansion, could be just a tiny home, it could be underground, it could be anything. And right now it's just like walking into, I don't know, the walls that seem to be made out of a gray moving energy. It's quiet in here. Okay. All right. This is the next thing that comes to me. <sighs> okay. I feel wobbly, to be honest. I feel like there's an energy that comes here from the right side and then it kind of hits my head a bit and I feel a little disoriented. I feel that there's energy that comes and affects my breath a bit. It feels a little gristly, like I'm breathing in sand. <laughs> Ah, I feel tired. I feel like there's an energy that comes from above on the left side and kind of hits my head here. And so I'm just like bobbleheading a bit. Like, oh, there, oh, there, oh, my breath. Oh, I'm just kind of like bobbling around in here. It's quiet. And there's just some like energy winds happening. All right. So getting feet planted on the ground. I'm going to grasp this first wind that comes from the right, okay? I'm touching its hand. It doesn't want to look me eye to eye. Represents the color red. It keeps wanting to show me things like a red velvet, uh, like a horse in Christmas snow all around there's a saddle and it seems like a it's a very large red velvet kind of pack i saw on the horse's body you could put nice things into it there's even a picture of a kind of like a snow princess and a big white gown very soft furs beautiful hair I'm just going to continue to hold the hand of this. What is this thing saying? What is this energy? Why is it here? Shows me other pictures like feathers and then feathers making a soft pillow. The pillow is white, white pillow case. Shows me a white bed, soft bed, white sheets. continue to hold this thing's hand. It seems to represent beautiful images, soft, fancy images. 
It's unexpected. Because of the wobbliness, I concluded that maybe not, not ideal, this energy that's coming from here and there and the gristling energy in my lungs. Maybe you need some of these images, though, in your life. Is it the crystals telling me this? Is it your home energy telling me this? I'm not sure yet. When I go into your goals, this is my experience. I'm going into a house. It actually is quite large. And it's comfortably large. It's got uh, walls that are made out of a gray moving energy. Kind of seems like a ghostly environment. It's quiet. Energy's moving from here, there, etc. So I have to understand it. I have to work through it. I have to translate this riddle of your situation. So I still holding on to this hand because I want it to look me in the eye. Oh, you need to look it in the eye. So you and I are going to be one. Kind of like a shield for you in some way. It's hard to look at because it translates as a loss to you. A loss of beautiful meanings. Perhaps uh, a pretty picture of the way life could be. Does it have to look exactly like the snow princess on the majestic horse with the red velvet pack? Or if we were to take that picture and then put it into a nice breakfast in the morning, a peaceful drive to work, you know, it, it could be just nice. Life could be nice. Life could be balanced. Life could be beautiful. Life could be magical. It could be a picture-perfect life. It could be genuinely so. And so it's hard for you to look at what this energy is breezing into you about it's it's here it's it's bobbling you because you're not letting its communication in and its communication is loving it's not a threat but it seems like it's threatening because maybe something broke in there that concluded this wasn't for you right so i have you whisper thank you and I welcome your beautiful pictures and I welcome your, it's almost like breath, like it's like breathing beautiful things into your heart, into your mind, into your perception. It's a good thing. It's hard to visually see a face or a body. It's just an energy right now. And when you welcome that energy in, you start to become the snow princess. So what is this gristle on the wind blowing into your throat here? No, that's not real either. That's an illusion. So it only appears and feels like it is real because you need to realize what is real versus illusion. And you've concluded that the illusion is real. So when the illusion is real, then there's pain. <laughs> you're breathing in pain, okay? But you're breathing in pain is the illusion, it's not real. And what's interesting is you're still holding on to that energy from the right side, asking it to help you to translate reality, which it seems like it presents really surreal, beautiful images. So is that reality? If we were to translate into a good vibe, I think we could call that good vibe reality. We can have that feeling in life. And why not? Okay, so when you look at this gristle, it turns into a strange kind of twisted face. It's got a, it seems like a, like you could fold the paper and create a paper hat and it's blue but it's like it's made out of wood somehow. And it seems like folded wood that creates a paper hat or maybe even a paper boat. I, I don't know, it's just such a strange looking thing. It rests upon a head and his face seems to be made out of the bark of a tree. It's gray, black bark. 
It's small. It's a small thing. And it's got blue outfit, too. Seems to be folded paper, but it's folded bark. Folded wood. It's just like a little boy. It's really not easy to look at this for you. The red is with you. This red energy with the beautiful pictures is with you. We're going to place that good energy in your heart, okay? And now let's look at this little wooden blue boy. He's just uh, scrappy. He's like scraps of... He dances. I start to see a piece of paper and there's a, like a drawing of a stick figure. And the stick figure is moving around. The stick figure is almost like um, doing somersaults. Like you literally see on the paper it seems to be rolling like this. <laughs> then it jumps up and then it starts to twirl in the air and then it walks back. And then it like it stomps its foot like it has its hand on it, its face like it's thinking. And then it's, it's doing other things. It just seems to be in motion over here and over there. Something is odd because there's a scene where the sun is above and then the sun sets. Like the ball falls from the sky. Like the sun there, whoop, like just disappears on the horizon instantly like a ball falling from the sky. And then it appears again, and then it falls, and then it appears again, and then it falls, and then it appears again, and then it falls. There's some kind of distance here between you and this figure. This wooden boy made out of tree bark. It's kind of scrappy, like rough feeling. It's kind of splintery at times. Everything's folded. Put a little outfit and a hat on it. It parallels a stick figure in motion. So where are you, though, with this energy? Like, where? what is it saying? What is it? Seems like separation, though. Seems like there's distance. I'm having you pick it up. I'm having you hold it. In your arms, even. Like a little child. Just, the problem is, because it's made out of bark, it scrapes and scratches you, and it's always in motion, so it just doesn't be still. I don't know if we know what to do with this just yet. I'm going to look at the energy from the left side up there coming down and you just like this bubble figure. But we need to understand what are the energies here communicating and this has something to do with your home energy, okay? So let's see. You don't want to look at this one. It, um, it is white, spherical, has yellow around the edges, and then a very thin line of orange. It seems like a, it's like something on fire that's falling from the sky and it's like headed straight towards you. I relax you and I have you put your hand out. It's going to burn you. It's going to torch you. When you put your hand out, it instantly, like wildfire, just goes right across your body and turns to black ash and you're barely standing. Okay. So something beautiful, something a bit scratchy. So you just... And something that's torching you. Literally turning you to black ash. Okay. These are not easy to solve puzzles, by the way. All right, now that we know this stuff, I'm actually going to go tune into the crystals in your home. And then we're going to raise the vibration, activate the crystals, and then let's come back full circle, okay? So my soul actually pulls all the crystals into my heart. 
and all of the crystals in my heart have, a, have pure access to what is like portal to God, but it's more than that. It's just, I want to talk, I want to describe it as like the forces of creation, the weavers of creation, the weavers of new ideas, the weavers of love, the weavers of conflict, even the weavers of balance, the weavers of bobblehead moments, the weavers of, so it's the weavers of all things. And so in the heart of my soul, it has access to the weavers of all things. We all have access to it. You could even imagine this yourself. You could even imagine yourself as just a pure being of light, infinite light. Just know that you are. Not like you have to try to know that you are. You just know that you are. And then if you can do it in an instant, just know that all the crystals in your home are in your heart and your heart is this amazing space. And it's connected to the creative forces of all things, all time, all spaces. And what's interesting is as you place all the crystals within yourself and you're reminding them, but is it really a reminder? Yes, in a way, because you're choosing to touch them. You're choosing to love them. You're choosing to say, I see you. Choosing to say, thank you for being here for me. I want to give something to you. Thank you for all you've given to me. I want to give something to you too. And I want it to be this disconnection with the weavers of all things. And I really welcome you to weave into my life your beautiful energy. Weave it into my home, weave it into my, my body, my body of my family, the body of my neighbors, the body of my neighborhood. Like Weave it into my life. I weave it into you. And thank you for weaving it into me. It's almost like a beautiful message of saying thank you and having great gratitude for all these crystals. Like little children that have entered into your doorway, that have entered into your life, here to care about you, here to support you in their own way. And you want to bring light to them all. You want to bring the connection of the earth and the, the stars, but it's, it's like so much more complex than that. But it, you could call it the divine truth. The divine truth in all its wholeness and holiness. And holiness is an expansion of all learning, you know? It's extraordinary. And so I see you are the one that carries the crystals within your heart. And I remind you of this. And I also carry them within my heart as we do this together. And it's, it's also not just to help heal your home, but almost like to fill your heart with connection and friendship and like living consciousness that care about you. If, Chris, if all your crystals could be people, what would they look like and what would they have to say? It's like um, filling your life with, with wonderful and interesting, perhaps unusual beings that actually are in a way a blessing of their own right and a gift to your life and you're grateful for them. And there's a feeling of kinship, you know, kinship with you and your crystals and a kinship between you and your home and the home and the crystals have a kinship then with you and wanting to really fulfill a, a balance and alignment with all these energies. And I ask you, is there a certain request you have for your crystals? Do you want them to be providing wisdom, to be purifying the air, to be protecting your home space, to be attracting blessings into your life? Do you have a request for them? Like, what are your needs? We can activate them. We are activating them. 
we are reconnecting your heart with the heart of these crystals and vice versa and reconnecting right the relationship what would you like to say to them what help would you like them to provide you it's kind of uh Kind of all those things would be nice in a way. Like I could use a purification of the air of my home and a clear mind, inner peace. It's like that sense of, of feeling like yourself. Whatever you've decided that is, it feel like yourself. But it also seems to be something spiritual like attracting really good energies into your life. Whether those are human beings or animal beings or spirit beings, angelic beings. Attracting really good energy into your life to have fulfillment within your heart. Seems like they want purpose. Seems like they want you to ask something of them that they could give back to you in particular. And it feels really nice because uh, this is closing the gap of a sense of separation between your energy, your heart's energy, your relationship with your crystals. That happens. I mean, we love our crystals. We love having crystals. I know I'm one of these people too. And... Your, your relationship with them, sometimes it comes down to just dusting them off every now and then. It's like, wow, why? I miss you. <laughs> so I understand it's, it's good to reconnect. It's good to feel that that connection is, is tuned in your heart to them, them with you. And they, they have purpose in your life. They're not slaves. They're, they're open to what they can do to help you. So ask them for help what do you want their help with i can definitely tell you that your heart and the heart of the crystals are one and you're remembering them not just of the mind but of your whole being and the whole reason why you guided them into your life so that you could have their help and to ask that of them gives them purpose It's just reminding and amplifying the original goal, right? And bringing it to the surface so you feel connected to it again. It always was there. It just feels like it falls asleep sometimes. We just need to bring it back to life again, you know? So, I love still seeing the crystals are in your heart, connected to the weavers of all time, space, weavers of all things. It feels so good. They're very cheerful. They're, they're saying hello. They're saying I love you. They're saying and what can I do to help you. It's kind of like jumping up and down. Like the Mexican jumping bean. Like um, I want to help you. I, I, I'm happy. I love you. Um, let me help you. It, Seems like uh, also, why don't you look around your house and really feel out maybe three specific crystals, actually choose them and pick them out. Nobody's going to feel, be offended if they don't get chosen this time because everybody's working together. And so choose three crystals and welcome their support. Say, I'm choosing you. I would really like your help with this. And you could even place them by your bed at night and rest with them. And when you, you're looking at and acknowledging making a conscious choice and requesting help from that crystal, now there is some fabric weaving going on here. <laughs> There's the, the weavers are, are coming in and supporting you. And you're leaning in a direction that's saying, I welcome the support in my life. And I want to have this experience with you, this specific crystal. And thank you so much. 
and all the other crystals are singing, all the other crystals are, are clapping, all the other crystals are excited just as much. It's not like, I only like these crystals right now, everybody else feels left out, no. <laughs> everybody else is like really happy. This feels good in your heart. All right, let's go back to the where we're seeing these three energies, okay? Seems like these two aren't exactly clear. Like, we can see them, but we don't know what to do about them. And the one that you were avoiding was this red with the beautiful imagery and placing that into your heart. And I'm going to actually share that picture with the crystals too. And welcome the crystals to bring some more of this beauty into your life. And for you to believe in that something wholesome about the picture, clean, it's admirable, it's, it's beautiful, it's tasteful. It's just like capturing a picture of what is like a magazine perfect moment or something. And it's, it doesn't represent superficial, it doesn't. It actually represents a sort of like um, the deep beauties of what life can be. Almost like too perfect. But believing that life can be so beautiful, and so clean and so sleek. That somewhere inside you, you do believe that life can be very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. And you need to keep that. You need to hold on to that. And you need to keep knowing that's true. Okay? So I'm showing the crystals this. And they're inhaling and exhaling this information. And sharing it with you too. Just amplifying this. What do we do about this blue? And what do we do about this fireball thing? Crystals, you have recommendations? Do you know what to do? Instantly, all the crystals come together to form a body. And the body is going to take the brunt of the impact of this fireball. And the fireball hits the crystal bodies, like they're all together in this form. It hits them in the heart. And they just absorb it. They just absorb it all throughout each other. And there's a moment of pause and reflection, like deep meditation. And then from the crystals bleeds out some kind of gray material and it becomes like a tiny little being. And this being is about wreaking havoc, okay? It's got like a little axe and it just wants to like whack everything down. But because it's so small, what damage is it really going to do? It seems to be a representation of anger that's trying to disrupt, but it's not very effective. So I see that the crystals are creating kind of a lattice to keep you safe from the brunt of outside forces. Perhaps there's some anger towards you. And so that, that outside force is just absorbing into the crystals. The crystals can handle it. And it's not really going to do that much damage. I mean, it's almost uh, laughable. It's just like a tiny, like one inch tall thing with a little axe, like trying to go down and break the walls of this like house. It's just like, it, it's just not doing anything, you know? It's just creating some scuffs and things. And it's not uh, detrimental at all. But perhaps the force of this fireball is a bit concerning. Like maybe it can do damage, but no. I don't see that it is going to do damage. It doesn't really do anything. You need to hear that. It's going to give you some peace of mind and comfort and that your crystals are working together for you. You can even ask them any kind of anger that is um, being shared with me. I welcome you all to absorb it. I don't want that in my life. I don't want that energy in my life. I may be vulnerable to letting it in and affecting my soul or affecting my mental or emotional balance, but I, I'm not, I'm going to let you crystals be my wall or my lattice here to just absorb that energy and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be afraid of it. And the crystals not. So what's this little, little wooden boy? <laughs> what is this all about?
Crystals, what do you recommend here for this? I don't know. I mean, seems like this has a heartbeat. I can't say that it's awful. It's uh, when you pick it up and you hold it in your arms, even if you hold it out, it's like always like kicking and wiggling and scuffing like your skin gets scratched your, your, it's like scratching your skin and it's so busy and I start to see some of the crystal energies are like little buddies and jump into the heart of this little wooden boy and this is not like perfectly carved Pinocchio this is like take a tree and cut out a section and just let it be and then add some weird arms to it and a weird outfit and maybe some proportions like here's its torso and here's its head or something. It's just rough and scratchy, okay? So they jump into the heart of this and it starts to relax and calm down. But as, it as the crystals jump into the heart of this energy, they jump into the heart of your energy. Which helps you to relax and calm down too. And it's almost like there's a, a beautiful messenger made out of golden energy and she's telling you to be at peace with your life. She's telling you to trust that your life is peaceful. And let your life be peaceful and let yourself be peaceful in your peaceful life. And that there might be some busyness at work that's a bit scuffing. But it's actually peaceful. It's peaceful. It's playful. It's... It's alive. <laughs> and let the love be balanced. Let the love be equal. Let the love breathe in and out. I started to see pictures of um, never being taught how to ride a bike and you're an adult and uh, it's wobbly, okay? Kind of like the bobblehead effect. <laughs> it's just like, so there's a bit of anxiety about it. Like, oh, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. But you don't fall. Like, you just don't ever fall. And I feel that any kind of uh, concern about how you're gonna like glide through life. You've, you, it's like, you're going to be fine. It, it's almost like this messenger is saying too that this peaceful bike ride where you're like, oh God, oh God, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. It's, it's almost like you're having a peaceful experience. <laughs> so much room for argument there. But it's, it's almost like take what feels wobbly about you and about your responsibilities in day-to-day -day life where where is the wobbly at and see how peaceful it actually is and see how peaceful you are in this peaceful experiences and even if you were to argue and say that this is not peaceful let's be honest here not peaceful challenge yourself to say this is the most peaceful my life has ever been it might even make you feel a bit ragey to have to do that at first, but you'll train yourself like training yourself to ride the bike in this scene. With practice, you'll train yourself to, to feel a lot more smooth amidst it all. And so this message comes forward. So let's see about overall home energy because we're kind of walking into the home and then these energies come forward and we got the crystals and all that, but I'd like to just see everything, okay, for a minute. Why are the walls gray, like ghosty kind of looking? Hmm. Undecided. 
It represents undecided. So to create the walls solid, you got to make a decision. It's almost like this is my house. It, it just feels like you could say this is my house and the walls will become solid and not ghost walls. <laughs> So you do you say, this is my house. These are my crystals. These are my life experiences. The fireball, the, <laughs> the wooden boy, <laughs> the red, velvety, softness, you know. It's like, this is my life and this is my house and this is me and I am solid with me. I'm solid with my life. I'm solid with my home. My home is solid with me. My crystals are solid with me. My life challenges or responsibilities are, I'm solid with them, they're solid with me. And I'm at peace. Everything is at peace. It's, it's like really bringing you into a wholeness with everything, okay? Because what's interesting about home energy, it can be reflective of yourself. And so if you go through, I mean, we always go through times, right? <laughs> Where we're not so peaceful. And so the home can you know, go through changes too. So what's interesting about these walls is they're kind of like grayish moving, like ghost energy, but they're not solid because something's not solid. So to get you solid, you just, this is my house. This is who I am. This is my life. This is what I love. And my challenge, bring, I'm at peace with my challenges. And my challenges bring me peace and my challenges are my peace. I have peace of mind. I welcome good things. I believe in good things. I'm grateful. Thank you, crystals. I appreciate your gratitude for me as I have gratitude for you. Thank you for all you do for me. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for absorbing that fireball. <sighs> so we're getting solid, right? We're just getting solid here. That's really good. I mean, that's really good, well-rounded message. There's a lot you can do with this. Thank you very much for this. <sighs> Thank you so much again for sharing. And for those watching, if you're interested in exploring a session with me, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right. Have a great day, everybody.